Greetings everybody, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on EB Synth or EB Synth as people call it. So we're going to open up the program here, and this is what it shows you. So this is the EB Synth or EB Synth beta, and this is your menu. So it has the option to open, save, save as, and export to Adobe After Effects. The project directory is essentially the video that you're going to get started with. And you have to know that the directory here has to do with the keyframes, the video, and the mask if you are more advanced in that. So we're first going to choose a keyframe. So you're going to go select, and then you're going to go into a folder where you've created your keyframe. So here is the keyframe here. And then you click open. And then what you do is you have to go to the video. Now for this you have to have already exported each of your files as a PNG sequence and to do this okay so let's say you have your video here and then what you do is you go to file render as in Sony Vegas and then you go to where it says image sequence and the image sequences that you pick here is PNG and then you go and browse and then you save it into a folder so what you do is you make a new folder like this and then you go PNG render so then you go there and then you click save so what happens is, is that it goes and it saves it as test.png and it'll make multiple copies of this video so you go to render and then the rendering test will go through depending on how long or how short your video file is and once it's done rendering like this just go to close and then you go back to EB Synth and then what you do is you go and select the folder that we just made so we did PNG render and then you just pick one of the files in the folder and then advanced is where you see all of this. Now the error that I usually get is when synthesizing I get this error. It says CUDA backend is not available. So what it tries to do is it tries to use your GPU for the rendering. So what you do is you normally turn it off and then you run the synthesis. So that message won't show and then the render will start. So we're just going to cancel that because I already have a rendered version of it. So it goes from keyframe 0 to keyframe 98. But the thing is you have to make sure that the keyframe you made and the video that you made match up because it will not work if you have a different video with a different keyframe. So the keyframe that you just saw was me in purple and red with a green screen and the video matches the setting. So then once you have your keyframe, your video with the folder, you then go to where it says output and then for output you just press select and then you also create a folder with your final render. And then type it in final render or test render or whatever you like to do and then you click on it and go to select folder and then do your advanced and then run the synthesis. And then what you do you can also save your project as a EBS file. Let's just go with 454 and then we'll save it as an EBS file and then you can open it and import those same settings and for mapping deflicker and diversity be careful with these settings if you just want to do just a synthesis render you would just leave these settings alone and you would go to the EB synth website to find out more information about it or you can just click on the advanced and then stop it right there but for the synthesis for it to work that's what you do you just cancel the GPU usage because for some computers the GPU rendering and synthesis may work but for mine it doesn't work because somehow my NVIDIA chipset doesn't recognize so that's why I have to turn it off so that is a simple explanation on how to use EB Synth and I know some tutorials cover this in more detail but this is more of just the keyframe video and render information so if you have any other requests leave me a comment below thank you very much for watching and have a great day we'll see you next time for another video